I want to talk about is how do you make money online, right? I followed Dream Writer's advice. I'm in his coaching group and someone asked him, Dream Writer, I love nature and I love philosophy. How can I make money doing what I love? So what Dream Writer's response was, do what I do, which is YouTube, coaching, ebooks, etc. etc. Dream Writer Dream Writer right now is flipping shoes. He sells shoes online. He's, he flips bikes and uh, sometimes he collects cans. So YouTube, for example, I'm already following his advice. Dream Writer says upload consistently. I've been uploading daily so far. I've been uploading a bunch of random videos, you know, about being a virgin, being incel, carbs, vegan, bikes, all this stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what I really enjoy, what I'm passionate about, what I'm passionate about talking about and, and making videos about. So I've increased my subscriber count by like 200 and I've tripled my views. I think I used to get like 12,000. Now I'm getting 30,000 views. Now, am I making any money? Not yet, but I could, I, I might be making money in five years as long as I keep working hard. And I, I love to work hard, you know, as, um, as a man, we're designed to work hard so we can provide value, provide, um, you know, our, our women with, um, a house, provide for chil provide our children food provide for to society you know we we erect the buildings and whatnot anyways but i just love to i just i love to work i can be lazy of course I, I, sometimes i might stay in bed all day but anyways we're going to move on to the second thing ebooks for example what i plan on doing is i plan on just gathering all the advice during writer has given in the facebook coaching group like all the advice he gives is gold is it's liquid gold and every time i read one of his posts to me i just get this energy like i just want to i just want to go I just want to work hard and uh i just want to have like a compilation maybe like during writer's coaching bible and everything that he's ever talked about women philippines thailand Food, illnesses, you know, issues and whatnot. You could take this idea. I don't care. If you make money off of it, I'm happy for you. That's great. You know, that means it works, you know. And uh, so, you know, and and I just want to share stuff, stuff like this to people. The last thing was coaching. So I, I'm not someone who's going to coach someone how to lose weight. Because I'm, I'm still in that kind of journey, just losing weight. It's not, it's not my main goal anymore. I used to be. I was like, I want to be skinnier. But the thing is, if I'm if I'm not happy how how I look now, I'm not gonna be happy when I'm when I'm skinnier. I'm like, I, I've been I I have been that thin, you know. I wasn't that happy. I was, but um, and I had a lot of anxiety and stuff. And so, you know, if I go back, definitely, uh, now I, I think I'd be well better off. But. Uh, and, I, and I can't really coach people on fitness. I can't really coach people on, you know, how to get fitter. I, I just, I just, me, I just prefer to ride my bike on the road. I just ride my bike to work, ride my bike to do the laundry, easy. But what I think I can excel in coaching is I love, I love bicycles. Got a bike right here. Um, I, I've been riding bikes since before I found out about Durian Rider. I was like 22 living in a motel and I was driving to work and I just one day t told myself, hey, I think I'd save more money if I rode a bike to work. So I bought, so my mom bought me a bike and then uh, I rode that bike to work. I remember people saying, Henry, you're gonna, you're gonna leave that bike aside and it's gonna, and like in a few months. <laughs> and I proved them wrong. I've been riding, I've been riding now consistently. Um, I, you know, I don't have a car. I bike to work. I bike to do laundry. But the thing is, I never knew how to really work on my bike. I really loved when I bought a brand new bike and it works f so amazing. It, it, it was flawless. And then over time, you know, I didn't maintain it. So it just, it felt 
it felt to me like it was getting worse. And I didn't know how to explain it to the bike mechanic. I didn't know what kind of work the bike mechanic did. It was expensive too. Like I'm like, I don't know how much I should be getting charged for this work. I don't really know what I'm asking for. I'm just kind of getting like sort of like, like, hey, you should do this, do this, do this. I don't really know what it is that need, the bike really needs for me to, for me to be, be happy with how it feels. And so, um, so I started working at a bike shop and I, I, I've been working daily. I'm like, I want to learn. I want to learn. It's been, it's, it's been a bit of a struggle though. Um, but I, I know how to explain the basics and things like that. So I want to help people enjoy riding more. I want you to ride your bike on the, to work, to, to the grocery store, to the, to the library, wherever. All right. Um, I want to give tips on how, how to be safer you know, um, and things like that. Uh, I just had a phone call with a friend, Sugar King. Shout out to Sugar King. Um, and he asked me to, um, you know, what, if I had an idea why his girlfriend's bike, the, her brakes didn't feel good. She was saying how it was, it just felt hard to, to, to grab the brake. And he, he video called me, and I looked at the bike, and um, it had old parts. He told me they bought it used, and it's been sitting around for ye years. Sorry. <laughs> and and so I just said, um, hey, let's flip the bike and spray some lube inside the inside the brake cables because they might be rusty. You know, and he grabbed some some WD forty. He sprayed it inside, and and it felt better. So it's going to feel as good as it, as it can be for that level of parts on that bike. But anyways, what I, f what I learned though was it was kind of a struggle explaining, um, you know, what I know. I have like, I have trouble exp really explaining things, but you know, doing YouTube coaching and helping others is helping me to be a better speaker and you know, teach people better. I, I, I kind of, I've, I kind of learned to love teaching people. I, um, that's what I do on my job at the bike shop is I teach people how to assemble bicycles. Now, sometimes people don't listen to me. They don't, and they try their own thing. And so there's a bunch of things that I need to learn myself is, um, you know, how to work with different personalities and things like that. But, um, you know, the phone call with Sugar King really showed me it, it's, it'll be tough to do that kind of coaching, but I want to do it. You know, it might take me five years, 10 years, maybe it'll, it'll never happen, but I want to keep trying. I don't want to, I want to hang out with people. I think that's something that helps is hanging around people who support you, who, who believe in you, who, um, who are poor, positive people, um, that can help bring you up. Cause if you hang around negative people, people who are doing different things that you don't really want to do, then, you know, you might stay stuck. And so putting out this content has really, I, I've, I've attracted a bunch of people who, who are helping me, um, you know, uh, raise, raise my, uh, I don't know what you call it, my raise my, my level. Anyways, that's it. Um, I just finished eating a bunch of rice and I got to put away my dishes and whatnot. Um. So yeah, I'm going to keep making videos, I think, of like a bunch of the, the stuff that Durian Ryder posts on his, on his um, coaching group. I think that would be perfect. Anyways, I got to go to bed. Have a good night. Thank you for watching.